Hello, I am Andy Park of the Korean Property Consulting Channel. We are located in Seoul, South Korea, and we will be talking about real estate and the related topics in Korea, such as the cultural aspects, taxes and livelihood, and city guidance. Before we talk about the real estate, let's introduce and talk about the brief history of Korea. Korea is a peninsula country extending from the northeast coast towards the southeast direction. Since the founding of Gojo Seon, it has been known as the national name of both the country and the region. The peninsula is currently divided between the north and the south. The climate of Korea is categorized as continental with cold, dry winters and hot, humid summers. The national flower of South Korea is the Mukung Hwa. Rose of Sharon as it is called in the US or Rosemao as it is called in the UK. And the national flag is called Taegukki. The total land area of the Korean Peninsula is around 220,000 square kilometers in which South Korea is about 100,000 square kilometers and the population of South Korea is around 51.7 million and North Korea being around 26 million. Korea has its own script called Hangul and has developed a unique culture over time since settling in the peninsula from the Neolithic. Korea is a peninsula country extending southeast from the center of the northeast coast of the Asian continent and is the national name of the country that has been established since Gojoseon. Currently, it is divided into the south and the north. The climate belongs to a cold and temperate zone, with the mixture of tropical and tropical stars. The term Korea or Korea is derived from Goryeo, the kingdom which succeeded the kingdom of Gogyo, and unified the Korean peninsula. The meaning of the name Goryeo is a Chinese transliteration of the pure Korean term for center referring to Korea as the center of the world. Korea is a mountainous land where mountains account for 80% of the total land area, in which only 10% of the mountains are over 1,000 meters tall, and mountains that are to 100-500 meters tall account for more than 40% of all the mountains. Due to Korea's scenic mountains and clear waters, the peninsula itself has been referred to as the Umsu Gangsan which is gold and silky land and water in the past. The beautiful feng shui combined with the key of the skies and earth made the Korean peninsula a prime location. For this reason, crops grown in Korea are not only excellent in taste and nutrition, the wild herbs are prized for their efficiency. Due to the landscape, clear water and four distinct seasons, Korea has produced plenty of talents and stand out in fields such as mathematics, physics, sports and other many fields. The Korean peninsula is the crown of the earth where the forces of yin and yang collide around the world, interacting with the key of the universe in a grand scale and the said key flows southward throughout the peninsula to form small mountains and water choruses. As such, Korea's landscapes are recognized as living beings, a foundation where lives of every Korean are affected, and the consciousness to harmonize with nature is credited and continued through Feng Shui. Currently, Korea's fast economic development and cultural output is seen by many countries around the world, and some analysts predict that Korea will become the center of the world. South Korea is organized into one special city, one autonomous city, six metropolitan city, nine provinces, and each city and province has its own city and provincial hall. Thank you for watching. We will come back with more videos next time.